You've tuned in to the Top 10 Garden Show with garden expert Ken Lane. Join the conversation daily as he answers timely garden questions. Email Ken a question directly from your phone to his desktop through the web at watersgardencenter.com. That's waters with two T's, gardencenter.com. Or visit face-to-face throughout the week where he can be found at Waters Garden Center in Prescott. Now welcome your host, Ken Lane. So we are into the vegetable planting season, whether you're starting radishes from seed or corn or beans or peas or tomatoes, it's time. Uh, I I told you at the top of the hour, beginning of the show, that I would explain the three basic types of tomatoes. The tomatoes are the number one vegetable grown. We we call it the introductory drug or, or plant of gardening. People start with houseplants and tomatoes. You can get them started with those and make them successful. They'll expand and then they go into peppers and cucumbers and and they all of a sudden they're out to flowers like zinnias and geraniums and it just goes from there. And then it, then it's like in your blood and it just keeps you young and gives you therapy sessions. It just makes you feel better because gardening just gets you outside in the fresh air, enjoying hummingbirds, butterflies, flowers, fragrance. There's a lot to it. And so tomatoes, there are three basic varieties of tomatoes, determinate, indeterminate, and you've got a patio variety or just a dwarfed kind of size. And so you're indeterminate. These are the ones that are, are basically the big tomato plants. You know, they grow as tall as you and I do. You better have a stake. You better either have give a place for them to just sprawl across the ground, or we stake them up with great big stakes, sometimes like lodgepoles. They get so big. And so these are indeterminate. They're, they do not have a determined height. So they're indeterminate. They just keep growing and growing and growing and growing. And the more they grow, the more foliage you put on and the more tomatoes they produce. That's indeterminate. Your grandparents basically grew indeterminate tomatoes. Then there's determined or determined to tomatoes. There's there's a set size. It's determined to grow one size and then it's out. That's it. That's all there's going to be. These are typically the ones that are grown that are smaller. So romas, the ones you make a lot of paste sauces out of or, or canning supplies. If you want all your tomatoes all at once and I want to can them, romas are a great way to go or a paste type of, of tomato. That's the benefit. They're generally shorter plants because they're determined to be a certain size. Most of your patio varieties, these are also determined to only be about knee high. They really don't need to be staked. Many of them we have in in containers and they're made to grow for the entire season and produce nice crops in this one little pot, on one little container. And so that's a determined variety. And then you get into kind of the funky stuff. This would be, uh, we've got some ground cover varieties. There's some that are grafted. We actually graft plants on onto certain rootstocks. It gets them more, just makes them stronger. Uh, we've got heirloom varieties. These are old-fashioned varieties like uh, black crim, green Germans, uh, uh, brandy wines. These are all varieties that are very ancient, very old. Uh, we've gone with uh, more hybrid varieties, not genetically modified. Hybrid, we're cross-pollinating different plants so we create a new variety like an early girl or a celebrity or champion. And the reason we do that is we go, oh, these two varieties are really good. They don't get the leaf spot. They don't get uh, fruit and wilt. They seem to produce more than others. So let's, let's, let's breed these two together. We help them make whoopee there with little flowers, pollen back and forth, and they come up with a new variety. What we get is a, a stronger, better breed of plant. That's a hybrid variety. So we've we've groomed this plant to be a certain variety, a certain way to grow a certain size fruit. And so generally they're hardier plants. They're less disease prone. Your heirlooms are the old fashioned ones. A lot of folks think, oh, I only want heirloom because, well, everything else is genetically modified. Well, no, that is not true. First of all, we don't do that here. We are, everything we have is organically grown. And it is not genetically modified. We just, we're, we're anti both of those things. We, we like natural, safe, organic, especially when you're eating it, herbs and vegetables, uh, but flowers and it goes right down the line. So we're not going to dip our plants in nicotoids, all these other things that the box stores do. We just ain't, we just are against that. They're doing that for shelf life, just so it stays on the shelf and, 
and and then get an extra week out of it. We'd rather just care for the plants and have a healthier plant. And so then we can keep it organic that way. So heirloom, you've got hybrid varieties, so cross-pollinated varieties. You've got some grafted varieties. You've got indeterminate. They grow big and lots of production. Generally, your big boys, beef steaks, your, your big tomatoes, those are generally indeterminate because they need a lot of foliage to create that many and that large of fruit. Basically, tomatoes are a sugar-making factory. They just create, they just soak up the sun, create sugars, and put on fruit. That's what they like to do. But there's not space for a huge, you know, six-foot by four-foot tomato in every garden. Sometimes you just want a patio tomato. Well, then you've got patio tomatoes too. And so that's kind of the different varieties of tomatoes are where you put each. There's not a right or wrong. There's just uh, your favorite. My mouth's just watered thinking about fresh tomatoes. Oh, there's nothing better. Okay, we've got uh, Lisa Watersling coming in with your garden, with her segment right after this, but let's take a quick break. We'll be right back. Look, if your mom, wife, or mother-to-be enjoys dead cut flowers and the peace that comes when dining with all those kids, then by all means, take her to your favorite buffet rather than some piece of plastic. But if she really loves her garden, a gift card from Waters makes perfect sense. In reality, you're giving her 90 minutes of peace and quiet while she shops for her own flowers. Waters Garden Center, 1815 Iron Springs Road in Prescott, the place where people who love their gardening moms love to shop. Ten Gardener, your source for timely garden advice, seasonally correct for the garden, guaranteed to make a difference in your yard this season. 